Good morning. Good morning. Coffee time. Tiff already made a coffee for me. Very nice of her. And it's perfect. How'd you do that? It's always better when somebody else makes it for you. That's not true. Sometimes you make stuff and I'm like, ugh, terrible. <laughs> and this shithead has been paying the butt all week. Throwing up and pooping again. Cause she ate something she wasn't supposed to. Honestly, we're, rat we're scratching our heads wondering how she got. It looks like she ate a coaster for one of my plants. And I'm like looking and I'm like, I don't know how she got one. Cause as far as I can tell, all of them were covered. Obviously she got one somehow, somehow way. And it's the only thing that looks close enough, similarity enough, brown like cork with a black hard plastic bottom. Looks like a plant um, coaster. But I'm just like, I don't know how she got it. And then we thought she was done, and we wake up this morning, and there's a little bit of pile of it still, and some poop, and we're like, the baby saga continues. <laughs> All right, it's, uh, it's 9 a.m., I think, and I don't know what temperature it is. It's cold, it's windy, but we're getting in the hot tub, and we're gonna live stream it. We're doing a, we're doing a hot tub stream. It was, it, was, it was asked, it was requested. I said, yeah, of course, it's hot tub season. We gotta do one. So we're doing one this morning. I'm freezing my butt off, here we go. Oh, oh, my feet are so cold, so that water's really hot. Oh, it burns, it burns, because my feet are that cold. Oh. Well, that was, uh, that was fun. It was crazy, like, I, I, again, I have to just say this right out of the gate. I apologize to all the homies that are here for the vlogs that want to pop into a live stream and hang out with me and chat with me. It gets wild, okay? But I, I'm doing this 100% for growth. We got a handful of new, well, we got a lot of new subs, but we'll see how many actually translates to the vlog, but, I picked up almost 100 subs, 100 subs, you know, in the one live stream. You know, like I'm lucky if I get 20 to 40 new subs a day. I picked up 100 in that live stream. So I'm doing it purely for growth. It's exposed me to a whole new bunch of people. And granted, we have to weed out the shitheads. We have to weed out the, the immature pricks, the, you know, because the thing is, you have to remember, when I'm doing vertical, right, I'm showing up in people's shorts feeds. So it's like TikTok or Instagram. When you're scrolling through TikTok and Instagram reels and you're scrolling and you see a live stream, my, feed, my stream shows up in there. You know, we're getting 2,000, 3,000 views, you know, while I'm live. And then, you know, then the VOD gets another. So, it's it, again, this is just purely a, a mechanism to grow. Um, we're going to do more chill horizontal streams. Because if I do a horizontal like this, if I do a live stream like this, we don't get all that traffic. We don't get all that. So, I'm going to do more of these. We're, we're going to do one at the beginning of the month. The first thing of the month, first stream of the month is going to be horizontal like this. And then um, from there, we'll do a few more um, throughout the month just for the homies, just for you guys. And I'll probably do some... Uh, for members only as well. So I just got out of the hot tub. I gotta pee. So I'll check with you. Check back with you later, okay? I gotta pee. Fancy camera, geez. Let's go. All right, we're heading out. Tacos and tequila, baby. At a hidden lake. Caro Mucho, Life's a Risk, Crepes. Grandpa Rito. Wow, I don't I don't recognize any of these. Cheetos churros. Stuff, Lost Borough, Indian Tacos, Fat Boys Tacos, Lost Borough, Vegan Plant Based Cuisine Catering, Sancho's Tacos, Low Down Wheels, oh hell yeah! Here we go. So we got cups. This is where we get our drinks in, like samples. We got wristband. That's how we get our free drinks. Apparently, they're free drinks. They pass. Not free because I paid for them. Well, but yeah, but it's unlimited. That's what I'm saying. All you can drink. Hope you like the Uber. 
All right, so this is where all the merchandise is. The tacos are out in the front. Our bar is back here, all you can drink. The regular bar and um, uh, like a dish, uh, general admissions all down here. So we have all kinds of little vendors. I'm, I'm gonna have to get a shirt, I'm gonna have to get a shirt. And this is the Hidden Lake, Buckeye. Got a stage for live music. There's a bar down here. It's all event space, it's awesome. Just never been here at night, we gotta come back at night. It's cross. Cha -cha, real smooth. Oh, show cha cha, baby. Come on. You don't know how to cha cha? Oh, is anybody cha cha? Nobody's cha cha, it's alright. Oh, she's doing the cha cha. And here we go. First round of tacos. Apa store and chicken from Sancho's Tacos. And then we just ordered some from Fat, Fat Boy Tacos. I told Tiffany I'm doing. I'm just gonna do Al Pastor everywhere I go, so I can compare literally like apples to apples. Al Pastor, Al Pastor, Al Pastor. So far, this one doesn't have pineapple. I'm kind of disappointed. Let's see how Fat Boys looks like. All right, so here's our first round of tacos. We have Fat Boys tacos and we have Sancho's tacos. Al Pastor and chicken. So you can see them side by side. Also green sauce and the red sauce. The red one's got some kick on. I've already had those. I haven't had these yet. Tiff's gonna pop them open. You see this chicken's got some like marinade on it. It's like yellow marinade. No pineapple on either apple store. I'm kind of disappointed on that. But one's got lemon, one's got lime. So I need some chips. Some chips? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start with um, Sancho's tacos. Let's start with lemon, so we're gonna throw the lemon on there. I like green sauce, we're gonna throw green sauce on there. It's good. And bigger pieces of pork. Kind of like strips. Whereas Fat Boys is diced. All right, one tortilla feels different. Oh wow! Better. A lot more seasoning. Like this was marinated longer and diced up. That has like a traditional apestor flavor. That one was more unique. This is more traditional. I feel like you thought that one was going to be better because of charcoal. Yeah. Wow. The meat is so seasoned, the marinade is so strong, it overpowers the salsa. I don't even taste the salsa. Oh, that's good. That's like, that's like the really good tomatillo salsa. So that one had better, like, the, the seasoning, the marinade, and it was better. But I think like this meat better. Huh. Yeah. It wasn't marinated long enough. That's good. That's a good taco. That's an alfestor taco. Good. Same thing with the other one though. It looks like it's got the, the yellow marinade, like it's been marinating for a long time. Like they probably bought it that way. That's probably why. Where this is more this is probably fresh. Yeah, look, they cut their own chicken. They grow whole pieces of meat. That's store bought. That's the difference. Oh, shit. That chicken's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get a whole leaf right here. <laughs> You're welcome. See, that's, that meat's better. That meat's better. But, but that one's mar more marinated. Yeah. Well, I taste is onion and cilantro. In that one? Yeah. yeah, the meat's not seasoned. It's not marinated enough. Better meat at Sancho's on both of them. This one needs a salsa. But it needs a sauce. Yeah, it's, it doesn't have enough marinade. It, 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 they, they just need some more seasoning. They didn't season it enough. And I don't know if they do that on purpose. Whereas these, highly marinated. I, I'm pretty sure these are store-bought. This, you can tell, they, they, they cooked their own meat and they, they diced it up. It just needs more seasoning. Good? Next up, Las Burro. Oh, these guys do Baja shrimp tacos. We're comparing all the Apple Store tacos to all these, these taco shops, but these guys do Baja shrimp tacos, so I have to get one. Have to. Alright, next round. Oh, you got some pineapple. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I'm so excited. That's what we're talking about. That's got out, it's got actual pineapple on it, the Apple Store, and you got chicken with like a cream a sour cream crema. Yeah, these look good. These oh homemade tortillas, you can tell. They're thick. That one's loaded. A trap piece of chicken. Oh yeah, that's good. Here's our shrimp taco. 
And then the owner gave me a mana taco, which is like manta ray. And it looks to me like maybe shrimp too. There's some shrimp in there, but manta ray. I never had manta I didn't even know it was a thing. So I'm excited to try that. And then we got a Baja uh, shrimp taco. I already ate the ceviche, which is actually more like a shrimp cocktail, but it's still very, very good. I ate that while I was waiting. I didn't have enough hands. All right, Alpha store. Throw a little green sauce on the back end. That's my thing. So I got, like, the first half is like just a pure taco. The second half's got the salsa. Here we go. It's got pineapple. You're good. <laughs> That's it right there. That's the money. Yeah. yeah. Is that our favorite so far? Oh yeah. I just then just jumped to the top. I can't remember the freaking name. I said it earlier. I'll put it right here on the screen. Yeah, because you get the seasoning, so the marinade's good, but you get more char, like because you're grilled. Pineapple. You had to have pineapple out in the store, man. Oh my god. That's the winner so far. Nine days different. Fatty man, look at that. Oh yeah, Baja Shrimp Taco. You can't see my eyes closed. I'm like, uh... Baja Shrimp, that's good. What I love about like Baja Fish Tacos and Shrimp Tacos is you get the freshness of the, the pico and the, and the cabbage with the crispy, like, fried, savory of the fried, the fried fish and shrimp. It's a great combo. Oh, the cream sauce, the cream sauce. All right, we're gonna make one more pass and see how many al how many more Al Pastor tacos there are. Last Al Pastor taco of the day. Let's see if, Lo if this can beat Los Burros. Got a lot of pineapple. <laughs> I love pineapple. <laughs> See, this is like the first one. I think the meat's better, but the other one was more marinated. Really good meat. Really good meat. And really big piece of pineapple that's grilled, grilled pineapple. So good. Oh yeah, that's salsa. Wow. That salsa goes so well together. Mango. Not mango, pineapple. Pineapple habanero. I love green sauce. That's so good. That's that one, right? Six? Mom, mom, mambos? Mambos, okay. You got five? That was good. They're all gonna be good. Four? Mmm. That's got that fresh cilantro. Four. Six four. Six four so far. Oh wow. Holy crap. That's super unique. Got some sweetness to it, it's so fresh. What's up? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I love your shirt. Are you, are you video? Oh yeah, we're vlogging. Hell yeah. We have a YouTube channel. Hey. Everybody loves a taco. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, that's a little bit mild. Okay. More of a chip, sit down at the yeah, restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then the green's been hot. Love it. A little bit hot. Love it. That's what everybody's saying, so I'm just going off that. Oh, oh yeah. Need some shrimp for that one. What? There's like shrimp, like a shrimp cocktail. That would go great, go great with that. You would kill it with that? Oh yeah. Say that online. With a shrimp cocktail? Absolutely. <laughs> Alright, number three. So so real quick, try everybody. I did. You're the last one. Okay, okay, go ahead. You're the last one. Yeah, making sure. It's hot as shit. So awesome. Yeah, okay. I was just gonna ask you. Yeah, we gotta get those. Thank you. So put this in your favorite salsa box. Thank you very much. Alright. So what's your favorite? Which one's your favorite? Which one's your favorite? Me forgot. For me, it's 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 six or two. I'm I'm, I'm supplementing two. The green, the six was like 
traditional green salsa that I love. I get at restaurants all the time. I love it. But two is super unique. It has that like, sweetness to it. It's not hot, but it's got sweetness of flavor. All right, so we got two and six. And honestly, I can't decide. They're both really good. One spicy, though. I think this might be spicier. So I'm leaning towards this one. But this is such a like traditional green tomatillo salsa that I love. It's like roasted. I can eat that all day. Let me get this one. There's something unique about it. It's almost like an orange. It has like orange in it. I think I'm gonna give it two. I think two's got my vote. But you were saying you can't decide, so you're gonna I'll put give six. six. You'll do six. Yep. So two and six. Those are those are our winners. There he is. There's the winner. All right, that's where we vote. And we both voted for Los Burros, so that's the winner of the Al Pastor. For me, it's Al Pastor. For Tiffany, it's chicken. So this is the Hidden Lake in Buckeye. Back home, back on the couch, just made tacos, more, more tacos, but this time she got beans. That's her missing ingredient, she loves her beans. Save water, drink tequila, Hidden Lake. It's our, our souvenir. But I, I did buy a shirt too, I bought a shirt. It, I had to, I told Tiffany, I was like, it's just me, it's 100% me, I had to buy it. Let me show you real quick here. It's a tacos and tequila kind of day. I had to, I had to, it's my mantra. Tacos and tequila, baby. But for tonight, I'm wearing Snoop Dogg. What a fantastic day. Now, I didn't get to sleep in. I only got like four and a half hours of sleep, uh, which is why I'm going to bed early on a Saturday night. I had a cup of coffee, edited the vlog, got in the hot tub, had a stream, had two more cups of coffee, two egg sandwiches, went to Hidden Lake with Tiffany, and we ate tacos and drank margaritas and listened to live music and just enjoyed, you know, uh, the ambience and the people watching and all that. It was just fantastic. Kind of a whirlwind of a day though. By the time we got back home, you know, we chilled a little bit, except on the front porch and then made dinner. We watched Next Level Chef and I just watched uh, the first episode of Tracker, new show on CBS. I, it was recorded after uh, Super Bowl, so decided to give it a try. Eh. I, I might give another episode or two and see if it catches on. But I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick back up on uh, True Detective and finish season two. And then also Reacher season two. I want to watch that as well. So trying, man. Trying to get ease my way into some TV. I, you know, I do a little bit of YouTube and I do an episode of the TV. It's, you know, it's kind of nice. So uh, tomorrow, no plans as of right now. But I'll, see, I'll throw it out to Tiffany and see if she wants to go for a hike. Um, in worst case scenario, she says no. Maybe I'll do a, a short one on the on the mountain that we were on a couple days ago, and maybe do a live stream while I'm out there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, I'm tired. I feel it. I throws enough watching YouTube. So I don't try to enforce it. If I'm falling asleep, I just go to bed. There's no reason. I don't want to sleep on the couch. So um, hope you had a great Saturday. Hope you had a great weekend. Whenever you're watching this video, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.